A series of tweets signaling a softening in China-U.S. relations as Qing Gang, the Chinese ambassador to the U.S., steps into his new promotion as Chinese foreign minister. He vowed to continue to care about and support the growth of China-U.S. relations, encourage dialogue, mutual understanding, and affinity between the two peoples. The sentiment part of a string of tweets offering enthusiastic praise of the U.S. in the new year. And it comes at a time when relations between the two countries are relatively strained, from Taiwan to trade. Talks between the two powerhouses frosted over following then-House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan in August, an island Beijing hopes to eventually control. Repeated U.S. statements of support for Taiwan have contributed to the biggest tinderbox in bilateral relations, according to Chin. As U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken readies for his visit to China later this month, he's already connected with Chin on maintaining open lines of communication. And as for trade, while the U.S. imports more from China than any other country, relations there have continued to stiffen. From tariffs imposed by then-President Trump and sustained by President Biden, to the Chips and Science Act and Inflation Reduction Act aimed at lessening reliance on Chinese goods. At least in public statements, it appears China is seeking a more stable relationship with the U.S. this year. To close out the more tumultuous 2022, Chin wrote in an essay, China-U.S. relations should not be a zero-sum game where one side outcompetes the other or thrives at the expense of the other. I'm Simone Del Rosario, and in New York, it's just business.